That's how close the Marquette men's soccer team came to tying things up in the 82nd minute tonight at Valley Fields. But they come up just short, losing one nothing to St. Louis University Billikens. I think it was more us not being able to finish them. But this wasn't an open game. We created far more in the second half. It wasn't like they were gonna. It was like back and forth. They had a few opportunities, but this wasn't an open game. One of the biggest stories of the game was penalties. Slew was booked with four yellow cards, but the biggest whistle of the game came after Marquette keeper Luis Barraza ran into Anthony Brown. Then, on the penalty kick, Leonard Hine cashed in for his second goal of the season. I think, uh, you know, we'll move on. We'll move on and up with this. And I think we're gaining momentum, we're gaining spirit. I mean, this, this is not going to knock us down. This is actually going to enhance our spirit. One of the main reasons for Coach Bennett's positivity, the debut of 6'5 forward from Birmingham, England, Jason Davis. Um, but I think it's just good for me to get out, get playing again, get into the new team and kind of gel with the personalities. But tough result, um, positive to take as well. Though that game plan might change after uncertainty surrounding Martin Alba, who left mid-game and limped his way back to the locker room. Regardless, the Golden Eagles, still searching for their first win of the season, head to Charlottesville, Virginia this Tuesday for a tough road test against the ranked Cavaliers. I'm Nathan DeSutter, Marquette Wire Sports.